So, if you're somebody who is actually willing to develop a career in back-end engineering, then I would say Spring Boot should be the right technology to go for. If you see, a lot of big tech companies including Flipkart, Walmart and a lot more are actually relying on Spring Boot based backend system to build such scalable applications. And to be very honest, Spring Boot is quite a big framework to learn. Of course, when you are starting to learn any kind of like a framework, you don't need to know it end to end. But there are some very important and fundamental topics that you have to know if you want to excel in Spring Boot. And here we are. In this particular video, I will talk about what are the set of topics that you have to have to learn if you want to develop a career right from the beginner level to the advanced level in Spring Boot. We are going to talk about in which particular order and what all topics you should bare minimum learn in order to start your career in Spring Boot. Also, one interesting fact, all of the topics that we are going to talk about, we are covering that in our brand new Spring Boot course, which is going to start in mid of January. All of the topics are going to be taught there, including a lot of interesting live projects, such as the Uber backend system, a distributed wallet payment system, an Airbnb booking system and whatnot. It's going to be a power packed course where we are going to take a deep dive into all of these Spring Boot concepts. So do check out the link in the description section below and use this coupon code to get the maximum discount on the course. So without any further ado, let's just start and let's start looking at the roadmap to start learning Spring Boot in 2026. So before moving forward in the video, if you're somebody who is actually looking to learn Spring Boot and want to develop a career in backend development in Java, then you are at the absolutely right place. So now we have actually launched the second iteration of our Spring Boot cohort, where we are going to talk about a lot of interesting backend development topics in Spring Boot, right from the beginner level to the very advanced level. We're going to start with basics of what is a build system. We'll start learning about what are basics of databases, what are basics of Spring Boot, and slowly and steadily we'll move to advanced topics like how you can actually implement distributed transactions using the Saga design pattern, be it the choreography Saga or the orchestration Saga. We are going to talk about the design aspects of some of the very interesting projects, including making a distributed wallet, including making an Airbnb based backend booking system. We are going to talk about how you can actually play around with geospatial indexes and how you can make an Uber booking application altogether and whatnot. There's going to be a lot of important topics that are very frequently used in day to day backend engineering job, which will actually help you to get the idea of what exactly it looks like to develop these kind of like scalable applications. So if you want to turn up your portfolio into an absolute Spring Boot beast, then do check out the link in the description section below and use this coupon code to get maximum discount off on the cohort. And I'm really excited for you to join the cohort as well. So let's just resume back to the video. So let me start with the initial highlights altogether that what's the main takeaway actually going to be from the course. So this course is going to actually help you some of the to actually master some of the advanced concepts of backend engineering via Spring Boot. So we are going to talk about some very interesting patterns like CQRS pattern that is command query seg responsibility segregation. We are going to talk about API composition, materialized view pattern. And then of course, one of the most important saga design pattern to actually achieve distributed transaction, both via orchestration and choreography. We are going to talk about event sourcing with Kafka. We are going to talk about outbox pattern. We are going to see how exactly microservices architecture is built right from scratch in very interesting real world projects, both via the HLD as well as the LLD aspect. We are going to see what's API gateways, how we can actually implement them. We are going to see service discovery using the Spring Cloud Netflix Eureka. Of course, we are going to talk about fundamentals of distributed transaction, that what distributed transactions are, how exactly you achieve them, why do you actually need them, and then solutions using Saga. We are also going to talk about two-phase commit, that how exactly two-phase commit is actually implemented, the dedicated algorithm on top of that, and so on. We are going to talk about consistency model, that what is eventual consistency, what is casual consistency, what is immediate consistency. We are going to talk about DB replication. So these are very important design concepts that you actually need to know 
for understanding scalable designs like how exactly master slave replication work multi master works leaderless works and so on we are going to see how exactly db transactions work what are transactions how exactly asset compliance are implemented how exactly you can make different different isolation levels work for you for different situations we are going to talk about some interesting db and index internals like what is lsm trees how exactly write ahead based redo logs works right what are different isolation levels what is indexing how you can actually use them and so on we are going to talk about db triggers we are going to talk about geo hashing that how exactly geo hashing works and how you can actually use redis for geo hashing we are going to talk about different different locking strategies for making sure that you handle a lot of concurrency related problems like we are going to talk about pessimistic locking optimistic locking we are going to see how you can make a cache based ttl enabled lock and what not we are going to also talk about some really interesting strategies like idem potency which are very useful in a lot of booking related situations if you see what are some of the flagship projects that we have actually included so in order to make sure that you also understand the fundamentals well we have two minor projects which is going to be one e-commerce application and kind of like a quora based application which is going to actually help you understand a lot of spring boot based concepts then in the major projects we are going to have an uber like ride system where we will be able to see that how you can find nearby drivers and actually raise a booking request how you can use web sockets how you can use grpc how you can use microservices we will then try to implement a payment wallet system which is going to be based on distributed transactions we are going to see how we can shard our database and then how you can actually implement distributed transactions using orchestration based saga we are going to see an airbnb clone where we will try to understand a lot of booking related problems like how to handle concurrency related issues how to handle double booking right how you can actually use redis for kind of like implementing uh, a lock altogether and then one more interesting project that we are going to implement is going to be a stock exchange backend where we are going to write an order matching service just like any stock exchange has we will see that how exactly you can use threads and how you can make a pretty scalable stock exchange uh, implementation as well now if you see what build system and ecosystem we are going to use we are going to do a very deep dive into gradle right we're going to understand how exactly you can build scripts how you can actually you can create fat jars the cli aspect of the things the aspect oriented aspect of the things and so on we will also talk about some interesting low level design aspects we will talk about what are different object oriented principles in java we will talk about some core design patterns like builder design pattern singleton pattern strategy pattern observer pattern and many more we'll see what is mvc architecture in spring how it is useful for you we are going to talk about how you can actually write services controllers dtos entities configurations and whatnot everything in spring boot we'll talk about the service repository pattern why do you need it like exactly why the repository pattern exists what if you don't have a repository pattern in place how you can have a different layered architecture everything we are going to learn end to end we'll talk about basics of spring boot we will see how exactly you can write apis in spring boot how you can integrate db configurations in spring boot how you can have documentation using open api definitions right how you can use lombok which is a very fun library to actually use with spring boot we'll talk about dependency injection dependency inversion auto wiring all of these concepts then we will see mvc architecture how exactly mvc related projects are implemented not just for a local project but how exactly things are implemented in industry all of these things we are going to actually talk about we'll see the service layer schema layer repository layer we'll talk about seeders controllers config layer routing layer we will also see how you can have asynchronous jobs that you can create and consumers on top of it we will see rest apis how you can build restful apis what are rest apis absolutely from scratch the major focus is going to be on making sure that we take you right from the beginner level to the advanced level it's not like if you don't know the beginner level stuff you won't be able to understand all of these things we want to make sure that everybody has the same level playing field and hence we'll talk about everything from right from the fundamentals we'll talk about how you can create and manage beans controllers services how you can do exception handling using controller advices then we are also going to talk about how exactly you can make a monolith and a microservice what 
changes you have to actually do in a microservice architecture what are the problems that exist in a microservice architecture we are going to see how inter-service communication works both synchronous and in an asynchronous mechanism we will see how exactly service discovery works right how you can actually make multiple microservices integrate with the service discovery altogether we'll talk about messaging and distributed systems we'll talk about some very important i would say um technologies like kafka what is Kafka? What are producers, consumers, topics, partitions, everything about Kafka fundamentals. And then we'll also see how you can integrate Kafka with Spring Boot. We'll talk about distributed transactions via Saga pattern, as well as how you can use two-phase commits as well. We'll talk about command query responsibility segregation as well, right? And you can see more design, more patterns, which are very important in scalable architectures like Outbox, like change data capture right? How you can use caching, right? How you can use the Redis infrastructure, what is TTL, what are different, different eviction policies available and so on. Then interestingly, not just REST APIs, but we are going to make sure that you are industry ready. Hence, we are going to help you understand how inter-service inter communication works with gRPC and protocol buffers. Why do you need gRPC? Why do you need protocol buffers? How they actually, um, I would say, take us take a position in the complete space where REST APIs actually dominate and why exactly a lot of companies are moving to RPCs. We'll do a, a swift comparison between gRPC and Thrift as well and so on. Then on the data um, base aspect that how you connect databases with Spring, we are going to talk about everything from scratch. We'll talk about how you can create entities, how you can create DAOs, how you can use inheritance strategies like map super class, table per class, joins, join tables, etc. We'll talk about relational mapping, one-to-one, one-is-to-n, many-to-many mapping. We'll talk about JPQL. We'll talk about raw writing raw SQL. We'll see some interesting database problems as well, like the N plus one problem, uh, lazy loading, eager loading, what are different, different fetch modes available and so on. All of these things we are going to talk about. Then we'll also take very deep dive into databases because at least I believe that if you're talking about and if you're learning backend development, then like at least the 50% or maybe more is just databases. If you have good expertise in databases, if you know how to manage your database, how what are the problems that actually come with respect to the storage of data in the database, then you have already mastered a lot of things. So we'll talk about databases right from the basics to advanced. We'll cover MySQL and MongoDB both. We'll talk about database normalization, how you can have different, different DB designs. We'll solve some interesting DB design problems. We'll talk about asset. We'll talk about transactions. We'll talk about indexing. We'll take, talk about isolation levels. What are different isolation levels? What is useful for you in which particular case? Schema designing. We'll also talk about no SQL and we'll talk about which database to use, why, when to use, why to use. We'll talk about authentication and authorization using Spring Security. We'll see real-time communication, like, so we have already seen how RPCs is going to work, how REST APIs is going to work. Then we'll also see how you can use WebSockets to make a chat-like application. We'll have a very small demo where we will talk about how you can create a chat app and then use all of these WebSocket-based, uh, I would say, learnings into a dedicated project of Uber. We'll also, and uh, we have also this time introduced Spring AI that will talk about some basics of LLMs. We'll talk about how exactly LLMs internally works. And then as a software engineer, how you can use LLMs to make some interesting services and interesting features on top. That's what we are going to talk about. Then again, as I said, very deep dive into the infrastructure and architecture of Kafka. We'll talk about indexing, how exactly internals of indexes work, how you can actually scale your database. We'll talk about the concept of partitioning, replication, sharding, what's the differences, when do you need what, different, different replication strategies, multi-master, master-slave, right? What is leaderless architecture? What are quorums? Everything we are going to talk about. And you can see very um, good emphasis we are going to give on databases because that's what going to make the fundamental of your knowledge around backend development. We'll see asset properties. We will see consistency patterns, right? We'll see isolation levels. We will see pessimist pessimistic locking, optimistic locking, right? When to use pessimistic locking, when to use optimistic locking and whatnot. We'll see concepts around MongoDB, right? How exactly indexing works, how exactly aggregation works in MongoDB. We'll talk about ORMs, of course. We'll use Spring Data JPA. Uh, we'll talk about a lot of AWS services because whenever you are going to work in a company, there's a good chance that 
you are not going to prepare your complete infrastructure yourself right you're going to use some cloud services and aws is right uh, a very good choice we'll talk about how you can set up rds which is going to be a relational database service on aws how you can set up dynamo db how you can use s3 how you can have a data warehouse like redshift We'll talk about AWS Lambda. We'll talk about the AWS IAM service for permissions, right? And then some interesting topics like how you can make a API idempotent. What is course? How you can configure course? What are caching strategies? We'll talk about circuit breaking, right? We'll talk about exponential backoff for retries and many more. So you can see a lot of things which are used in real live projects in real situations in real engineering work that's what we are going to actually learn we'll talk about how you can set up nginx we'll talk about how exactly you can do a uh, request response transformation how you can do rate limiting and whatnot and of course the projects i've already talked about we'll also try to uh, understand some deep internals of elastic search so in the quora app what we are going to do is we are going to actually make sure that we integrate elastic search and also help you understand that what elastic search is what's internals of elastic search what is inverted index how it exactly works behind the scenes what are the things that can be very useful for you right then in payment wallet we are going to actually implement a orchestration based saga we'll talk about everything we'll talk about choreography saga orchestration saga two phase commit we'll actually try to implement that that's going to be the most interesting part we'll be having an airbnb backend where we will actually implement idempotent apis we'll try to see how exactly migration db migrations work we will see how exactly authentication work how to solve concurrency related issues e-commerce app for understanding the basic fundamentals uber application for understanding geo hashing for understanding web sockets for understanding grpc for inter-service communication we'll talk about stock exchange we'll see how exactly you can make an in-memory order book view how you can write algorithmic aspects of the things we'll try to see some interesting design patterns like strategy pattern builder pattern for implementing a more clean design altogether and the best part for all of this of course there's a bit of prerequisite but all of those prerequisites also we are going to actually provide so you will already get like close to the start date of the course you will get all the prerequisites that is basics of java right how exactly you can write code in java basics of mysql and mongodb both so that in case you don't know about databases or maybe you know about databases but you have explored some other database we have got you all covered apart from that basics of computer network is also going to be provided so all of these things we are going to have uh, covered end to end in the course you can see it's a pretty exhaustive list and it actually ensures that you know everything which is needed for backend engineering which is actually used in infrastructure which actually solves a lot of infrastructure problems so that's the main agenda that's the main goal of this complete cohort i would highly recommend you guys to go out and check out the link in the description section below and try to explore all of these things now along with this you can see if you just come to the website you have a dedicated plan if you're somebody who actually wants a complete roadmap this is technically going to be the complete roadmap that you should learn right in this given order you can see i have properly ordered everything that you should try to explore and if spring boot is something that you want to master all of these topics in this right order is something that you should definitely try to explore and of course this gives you some really good important and interesting project ideas as well so go and explore spring boot there's a lot of opportunities out of there and if you're interested in learning spring boot with us do check out the course link in the description uh, description section below you will be amazed by the i would say the output and of course the learning that you are going to get here that being said let's wrap this particular video here we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care bye bye i'm sanket singh signing off